Hello guys, welcome to a complete end-to-end -end land graph crash course for beginners. If you're looking to build powerful AI agents for your product, for your business, or even if you're looking to make your next big job switch, then this course is for you. By the end of this course, you will learn how to build powerful AI agents that can think for its own, it can make decisions for itself, if there is a human approval needed, it can pause its work and come to you for approval. And even this is the tip of the iceberg. And if this sounds too much for you, don't worry. This course is going to be very, very beginner friendly and we'll add on more difficulty and more concepts one step at a time. So let's actually go ahead and look at the course overview. So first we will look at the different levels of autonomy in LLM applications. So autonomy meaning freedom. So starting with code, which has very little freedom to think on its own, right? It does exactly what we tell it to. And in the end, we have agents which have very high autonomy. It can think on its own and that is exactly where land graph is going to come into the picture. But to get here, we will have to understand how we progressed here. Okay, so now understanding agents and tools and this is where we'll be deep diving. Not just on what agents are, but actually look at how agents are built under the hood. Okay, so basically this would set a very strong foundation for us for the rest of our course. So yes, we'll learn them how to build them from scratch. Also, we will also be learning how to build agents using predefined classes that Langchain provides out of the box. And then we will understand the graph data structure, the differences between DAGs and cyclical graphs. So now that we've understood the prerequisites, then we will move on to what is a Lang graph? Why is it required? Why not just stick with Langchain, right? What are the limitations of Langchain? So then with Lang graph, we will be building different agentic architecture patterns like the reflection agent, reflexion agent, multi-agent workflows, right? So we will understand all of the key terminologies that come with learning land graph, like what is a graph, what is a state, what is a node, right? What is visualization, what are breakpoints, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so at that point, we would have learned enough to start building our very own land graph chatbot. The chatbot we'll build will have the ability to answer questions by searching the web. It will be able to route complex queries to humans. For review, it can go back in the chain and then explore alternative paths. And this is where these agentic patterns like human and loop react patterns come into the picture. Okay, so we will also build multi-agent systems like very similar to what Crew AI does. But I believe that land graph is much more powerful because it's much more low level and that gives us a lot more flexibility on how we can actually build the flows. All right. So multi-agent systems, meaning we basically create multiple agents and those agents can sort of communicate with each other to get a particular task done. And then we will integrate rags into land graph. So we will explore what C rags are or it's basically called corrective rags. We will also see what A rags are. Basically, it means adaptive rag and also self rags. And most importantly, we'll also be looking at how persistence works in land graph. Also learn some of the other tools that land graph provides to help build production grade agents, right? So uh, like the land graph studio is something that it provides. It provides land graph cloud API, etc, etc. We'll also be looking at that. And finally, we will look at agents in production. So basically explore enough real life use cases so that you get a complete, absolute complete picture for what is to come in the future of technology. So if this excites you, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you'll be notified every time I release new videos. Now let's actually go ahead and look at the prerequisites for this course. So first thing obvious, Python, because we will be working with Python. And secondly, understanding of lang chain can be essential and I'll tell you why. Land graph, which we are going to be looking at in this course, uses lang chains classes under the hood. For example, chat models, prompt templates, and these are things that lang chain provides. And learning that is going to be very important to continue with this course. So, if you don't know lang chain already, I have already made a 2.5 hour long tutorial that teaches you in depth the concepts like you know chat models, prompt templates, right, rags agents and tools, right? So these are things that are very important. These are prerequisites. So if you're not familiar with these concepts, I would highly recommend that you watch Langchain video first and then come back to this particular video. So with that said, let's get started.